Hey, this is What You Waiting For, a one's perspective on everyday prepping. And I wanted to show you what I did today. Um, I wanted to include this at, in our organization series. And I wanted to reorganize all of my band-aids and bandages and pads today. And what you see on the table are just a few of the boxes that I went through today. You see most of them are band-aids. There's some tough pads in there, uh, gauze pads, uh, smaller gauze pads. So you see there is a bunch. In fact, let me see if I can back up. You can see how many. Uh, what I did today is take mostly the band-aids and the tough pads, and I vacuum sealed them. Uh, some of them I vacuum sealed into small, where I just put a few in there. I'm planning on these ones. I'm planning on taking, putting them off to the side and maybe just adding them when I go camping into, as just extra band-aids in my pack, a uh, bug out bag, maybe take them for my car or even my purse. Um, when I did vacuum seal, uh, like these are the tough pads, if they have special instructions, like tough pads for removing them, I added the instructions. You could easily tear off or, or cut off the name, any important information, and add it to the pads when you, or the band-aids when you va vacuum seal. I left plenty of room. You can see I left a lot of room, and I did that on purpose, because if there's an emergency and I have to cut into these things, I want to make sure that I don't accidentally cut through the product. So I made sure there is enough room, especially if I have my knife instead of scissors, that I don't accidentally cut into <laughs> the tough pads, the band-aids, or anything else. Uh, the rest of them, I basically just vacuum sealed the box. So one per box, or maybe if there was just a few, two per box. I mean, two boxes per bag. And I did that for all of the band-aids, the tough pads. And I was going to show you what, where I'm keeping them now. All of these boxes took up probably the space of half of a, one of those big, well, not big totes, but one of those bin totes that you get. And it was taking up too much space. I then put it in my on the other side, flip it over, bandages, gauze pads, and tape box that I had from before, and everything fits in here nicely. Um, I did not vacuum seal my pads. I don't know if I will. Um, I'm worried about, because they're sterile and they're sealed, I'm worried about the extra air inside if I squeeze them by vacuum sealing them, uh, that they might open and not be sterile anymore when I go to open because I'm not going to do each one. I would do them in big sets. So I think I'm actually going to leave the pads the way they are, uh, the gauze pads. And some of these were in these boxes. Um, some of them I had a whole bunch in here to begin with. But as you can see, I have all different sizes, you know, toppers, surgical, surgical pads, um, I have the, the small 2 by 2s I have some larger ones, but they're in another container. But all of these Band-Aids, all of these right here, are the Band-Aids. All these boxes of Band-Aids are right in here, and a few back here. So all of these items fit in my one box. This box is not very big. It's about 14 inches uh, long and about the size of my hand, um, how tall it is. So it's not that big at all. And I'm very proud <laughs> because now I can open it up and know exactly what I have instead of going through the tote bin and try to pick out which box I want. Um, now I can use that tote bin for something else. But now, since it's all in here, it will take up less space, so you could get more organized. So now I can uh, just go in there, grab what I need, and leave the rest in there, and not have to worry about boxes. Um, so you might think about that if you have a bunch of things around. 
uh, medical supplies or whatever. And you have a bunch of them and they're all in boxes. They take up more space. And to be able to get rid of all these boxes are just amazing. They can go in the trash. In fact, I had these in the trash and pulled them out of a box. It filled up, filled up an entire box just with all these. So um, another way to help organize, think about vacuum sealing or at least taking them out of their boxes. You might want to do that with other things uh, like uh, medicines, a lot of medicine like, uh, that are in bottles. They're a lot easier to put somewhere if you just have the bottle instead of the bottle inside the box. And nowadays, with prices going up, they're actually, <laughs> sometimes the boxes are half empty. They would make a bigger box to get you to buy it, thinking there's more item in that box, and actually there's not. So the boxes that you have stored, depending on whether it's medicine or whatever, might actually only be half full. So you might think about getting rid of boxes and vacuum sealing. And I'm also hoping, I don't know if I already said this, but I'm also hoping the uh, vacuum seal will help keep them uh, sticky longer. Because sometimes if you keep, they stay here so they're not hot, but I'm always worried about moisture and things. So I'm hoping that they won't lose their stickiness. The little band-aids and items. So, what you waiting for? Bye!